Which, which camera? Hey, look, this one, right? This one right mm -hmm. here is mine. Okay. That's right. Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome to Videos Creators Lounge. My name is Jen Ruiz, your host. And tonight we are here with um, Katie Murphy. Uh, welcome. Thank tonight you. we are doing something a little bit different. We are going to talk about fashion. Woo! Intr um, and we have Katie here to talk about that. So Katie, she is the owner of a boutique, and that is an Av. And yeah, we are going to pick her brain a little bit about fashion, about maybe some trends, and just to her to talk about her boutique and why you know she started this business. Um, so yeah, can we first talk about like how long have you been um, managing this boutique? So I've owned Madison Ave for five years now. And we recently just moved a year and a half ago to our new space where we host a boutique and a luxury consignment store. So we actually have two stores now in one. Um, it's a really like fun and interesting concept and it's really nothing that anyone's doing around here. Yeah, yeah. So I actually had the opportunity to go to the boutique earlier today <clears throat> um, and just to walk around and see the merchandise. And it was like for me, it was very, very interesting because like she mentioned, it's like two stores in one, right? Um, you have like maybe like the boutique more like fancier clothes and then you have um the other store is like kind of like a triff like consignment yep. yeah it's like clothes from second hand right yes um it, and it's very interesting so i'm very like interested in in particularly to learn like why did you come up with the idea or how did you come up with it, this idea so we we outgrew our old space um 523 main street is right next to starbucks and my assistant and I, uh, my assistant's my confidant. Gabby and I, if I'm going to order a different drink at Starbucks, she's the one who helps <laughs> me get through it. So we we had been selling so many new things lately because we were taking people's boutique overstock. And then, you know, we were known for our bags. We are known for our luxury. And then I said to her, I'm like, we're moving because we're getting this huge store. And I was like, let's do something different. And she was like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, why don't we do new stuff and consign stuff? She was like, I think it will work. So then with this song that always like motivated me in life and it's like if you know me like you know I'm into like Drake, Lil Wayne, like all the rap songs but like this song is like different. It's Florence and the Machine and it's called Only For The Night. So okay. we named our new store Only If For The Night. But if you listen to the lyrics of the song it's like very meaningful and we went with it, we ran with it, went to New York and started buying stuff. Oh. Wow. Okay. So you get your, your clothing from New York. Most yep. of it? So I go to, I go to at least three shows a year in New York to buy. Um, we have contacts in LA and Miami that we also buy from. Um, I work with a bunch of showroom reps out of New York city, <clears throat> excuse me. And we get to hand select everything that comes into our store. Okay, great. So would you say that you're like the clothes, like the items that I find in your boutique, mm -hmm. I won't find them anywhere in Boston or it's like very you will Difficult to um, find in Boston. we all shop together uh when i go to new york you recognize a lot of the girls you're like oh she owns that she owns that she owns this and most of us are like friendly with one another there is zip code protection on some pieces and it, but it's all it's like how you style with what else you're buying mm. so like all the pieces you purchased today like the white crop top like that i handpicked in new york the pants i got those in new york mm. okay excited i Actually, I love those pants. <laughs> those pants are awesome. They looked really cute on you. And by the way, this is a very good opportunity to shout out this this little top. It's also from the boutique um, that I got the opportunity to um, pick this outfit. She actually helped me pick it. Um, and I really like it. It's really comfortable. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Today, I choose to wear a skirt. But maybe tomorrow, I can I can choose to wear it with the jeans and some sneakers mm -hmm. and some jean jacket. Or, yeah, you can definitely like that. Yeah, definitely. And like with more like necklace or um, big accessories. Uh, so definitely, this is a top that I can wear in many occasions. <laughs> You'll get um, your money's worth. Yeah, no, definitely. I like it. It's so comfy. And it's like for every season. I feel like yeah. it's for every season. And, and it's also one of my favorite colors. I love burgundy. So... I'm so happy. <laughs> well, um, yes. Okay. So I, I, I just trying to wrap my head around the, you know, just the idea because again, it's just so different and new because you have a double teak with more high quality, um, 
um, pieces. pieces and then you have the, the, the other side yeah. of, of the store. So we can mix. That's what like our whole idea was too. It's like, you know, we're getting the consignment in often. Now with coronavirus, we've halted consignment just due to like safety reasons and health reasons. But normally we were getting consignment in all day, every day. But we were like, now we can control what comes in with the consignment. Yeah. So you can wear like a broken in pair of jeans or like, you know, like Doc Martin boots with the jeans that are already consigned. So someone's already worn them with like a new hot shirt. And you know mm-hmm. you're going to get that hot shirt at Madison Ave. Awesome. Great, great. Um, and these these pieces and, and the consignment part, like are they donated or do you like uh, buy them? People are paid when they sell. Um, in some cases, like with the bags, mostly people are paid on the spot. So if you come in with a Louis Vuitton or Chanel or something to that extent that we want and we want it in store, we'll pay you on the spot for it. Okay, but cool. if you do bring in your clothes for consignment, it's a 50-50 split upon selling. Okay, awesome. Interesting. Great. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about like how did you get started in you know, in this business. Mm -hmm. Um, You mentioned that you've had the store for four years, um, but I know that we were talking a a little bit of behind cameras and this store has been there for 11 years. Yep, Madison will be 11 in March, uh, which is like coming up, which is crazy. Um, Madison will be 11 in March. I bought it uh, five years ago, and then a year and a half ago we did move it to a new location and totally different concept. So Madison Ave has definitely evolved. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Like, what's the difference? How how did it start it and why is it now this style? So I kind of took it and ran with it. You Mm. know, we had the name, we built the name, we built the store, and people know that you're going to come to us, you're going to find a bag that you really want or, like, you've really been interested in. They know we have a surplus of the luxury items. And then, so we were like, okay, we have that, but we need to build off that. Mm. and we really wanted to do something different so when i moved the store like i said we outgrew our old space and it was time to go and it was time to move on and we one of my friends she came in one day and she was like i'm so sad that that store is closing it was a different store one of my friends store and i was like i know it's wicked sad she goes you could always go there and know you'd find something for that Mm. night so that's another reason how we came up with only for the night because i was like you know that's what you need if you're going on a date or you're going out tonight or you're going, mm-hmm. you know, on TV thing, you know you need a shirt. Or I knew I needed a different pair of shoes and I want my store to be, oh, I'll go there. Yeah. Top of mind. So that's what we were trying to create. It was like a top of mind store. Mm, interesting. And you think that you guys accomplished that? I think every day we're trying to. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but we're trying. That's good. That's good. I mean, you're you're happy with, with, with your accomplishment so far. and. You've grown, you added like this, this new concept. So mm-hmm. it's definitely something very It's different. a lot of fun. And I think when you have fun at work, you try to make it the best. Definitely. Great. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I had another question that just slipped. It was, I, I wanted to tag along something that you were saying and it slipped my mind. Um, so talking about, okay, yes, yes, yes. The, the, the styles. Do you think that they have different styles? So like, only for the night and the consignment. Yes, so definitely. So can you talk about like the, the difference in between styles? So only for the night is definitely like lives up to its name. It's like a little sexier. It's a little more edgy. Mm. It's definitely a little more. Um, where Madison Ave is definitely mainstream, suburban. But it is Madison Ave still edgy too. But only for the night it's it's its name, you know? It's, sassy okay so i'm sorry i'm confused only for the night is the, the boutique w- the boutique madison ave is where we do the consignment and consignment. madison ave holds all the bags under its umbrella okay okay now nah, okay great yes yes i totally saw also like an kind of like a urban style also yeah and only for the night so you will say like it's kind of like a, a, a merge of like i mean for for what i see it's kind of like cheek but it's also like edgy and yeah kind of urban I like that. I feel like that's also like my style. I'm kind of cheek urban girl. So I really it's like definitely that. like sexy. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. They were very cute items. Um, okay, great. Um, what what vision do you have for for your story? Like if, if you think about here in five years, how how much do you want to grow or like what other things do you think that you might implement? So right now I'm focused on getting out of this pandemic because it's just completely changed everything we've done. We normally are, I was saying to my boyfriend the other day, 
because he was helping put the gates up in my windows yeah. to prevent any more robberies. And he was like, well, you're so busy today. I'm like, I'm normally 10 times as busy because I got you going out tonight. I have her going to a wedding. She's going to a shower. This one has a date. That one's going to dinner. Now it's nothing. So yeah, people are coming in and spending money and they're buying a Montclair jacket or they're buying a Louis Vuitton bag. You know, like people are coming in. We're busy. We are busy. But it's not like it usually is. You know, like I'm usually doing this for that, that for this, that. And you know, it's like if one of my customers is getting married, I have all her girls coming in. Wedding, wedding, wedding. So we've definitely like taken a step back from the styling and just fulfilling needs. So everyone needs like sweatshirts and sweatpants yeah. and the occasional date night top like you have on or like a cute jacket, something, but it's not, there's no surplus. So once we get out of this pandemic and yeah. everyone gets back on their feet and stands up again, we will reevaluate like goals, but the goal is just to get out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something that I wanted to mention about like the pandemic, right? So mm -hmm. if we can take a take it back to this, um, I know you mentioned that, you know, it's 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 totally different than before the pandemic. But can you maybe give us more details? So like for example, in a normal day before the pandemic, how many people you will see come into the store, and compared to now. There were days we had six girls waiting in line to ring up at the register and this one looking at that bag and that one looking at this. And it was, it used to be like chaotic. Um, now it's like everyone who comes in, you're just so thankful that they came in and they took like the time out of their day to come in. Yeah. You know, because so many people are scared. So many people are nervous. We're going through a crazy election, crazy times, mm -hmm. numbers are rising. So every day someone comes in, I'm so thankful they made the trip to our store. Yeah, and were um were you closed for for a long period? We were closed for the entire lockdown shutdown, and we were making deliveries. We were selling masks, selling sweatshirts, doing this, doing that. Then our store was unfortunately robbed oh right around God, the same I time heard. as the looting. Oh my God! I heard yeah. that it's been like twice, already? twice this year. So it's not good. Um, oh my God! And that's crazy because like your location, like it's 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 a pretty decent yeah. location. So like. Do yeah. you know, like, what's what's been happening? Like, are, are other stores getting robbed yes. as well? So, like the um, specific suspects, we can refer to them as, he robs consignment stores, which is, like, very weird and interesting. But he targets consignment stores. I don't know why you'd want to target a consignment store owned by a person. But it is what it is, and we've really, like, oh taken steps to combat that. But you can only do so much, yeah. and there's only so much you can do, take, but... I'm sorry to hear that. It's when, okay. When was the most recent one? Three weeks ago. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Was it like a big loss? It was a lot of damage. I'll say that. I'm so yeah. sorry to hear it's that. It's okay. It's emotionally damaging. The store is physically damaged. But we rebound. We're survivors. Madison Ave is a survivor. It's been through a lot. So wow. we're rolling. I mean... We went today and it looked amazing. So Thank you. it looked good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, someone came in today and we just put the gates up and I think they look really cute. We did it in like a stylish manner. We kept the taste of the store, the style, everything. She goes, oh God, this is so ghetto. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Yep. That's how my day started. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Aye. And I was like, you know what? When you have the best stuff in town, they all want it one way or another. Yeah. And again, like what you like, I'm, I may necessarily not like it, right? I thought like my gates it, right? were cute. So, like, Don't you think I, my gates I, are yeah, cute? Yeah. I thought that it looks cool. Okay. I mean, it's, again, it is right? What it is. Like maybe that person, well, it's, it's, it's not the store for her. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Right. There's, true. there's places for everyone. She can go exactly maybe she will then you find came in and you were like wow this place is great yeah i like the i like the the, the feeling and mm -hmm. it's very cool um okay that's great. why i burn sage all day the what that's why sage. i burn sage all day <laughs> yes you need to protect your energy yes, always. Yes. <laughs> awesome okay um so yeah i just i just want to go back again because i i i think that it's very important to mention because you you mentioned that there's not a lot of people coming in and out of the store mm -hmm. but i want to talk about like my, my experience maybe a little bit um and in in my experience I, i i think one of the things that i most appreciated is that you had your um fitting room open because yes. <laughs> um shopping these days is 
not fun at all no. like i was telling justin i tried to buy myself a pair of jeans and i lost some weight so and you're um, petite it's a tough fit it's 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 very difficult to find to find jeans so i can't go to these stores that i normally buy and try on because their their fitting room is is closed um well what about going to sephora you can't even try on your makeup you you can't do anything i almost got arrested for spraying spray today i was like well i forgot i'm sorry oh my god <laughs> um, like you can't find a foundation so i know yeah so anyways the point is like i i i just appreciated that i could actually f try my clothes yeah. on in your store like and we keep everything clean once you've tried on items they sit they quarantine they get back so to normal like i appreciated that so much because if not i wouldn't be able to buy an item like um i i return i returned um three times to the same store because i bought a i, I bought an item like a jeans i went back to my home tried on it didn't fit me i had to go back and change it grab two more yeah. went back tried on didn't fit me then i did that for four times until i f actually found a jeans which that is fit less me. hygienic than you just trying it on in the store and then quarantining the item for the period of time you need to it's it's crazy so i just wanted to you know point that out that that was thumbs up you know mm. one of the thumbs up um and you know you helping me being very um diligent and finding me items that might go with my body um or with my tone of skin or with like my style so um i i appreciated that um so i actually want to talk touch base in in this right um when you have customers come come in the store do you feel like most likely they're looking for someone to help them in selecting items or the people that go there, they just already know what they want and... So in the past, let's talk about like 2019, let's just skip 2020. So in the past, <laughs> people know that we style. And then we have a lot of customers who are like our customers' customers. You know, they come for everything. They go on a date, not to keep bringing up dates, but like they go on a date, they go into a wedding, they go into a shower, they're just going for coffee. They know I can help them. Then they tell their friends. They're like, you know, she said that she had the best experience. Can you help me? Yes. So, and where we have so much stuff, we can get you the shoes, the, the dress, the bag, everything you need to walk out that door. I've had girls going to weddings, and I'm like, oh, so when is it? Oh, it's tonight. I'm like, because then you have, like, the pressure's on. It's like, yes. what if we don't yes. have something? Like, the shirt you're wearing. Like, if we didn't have something, I was going to not have you wear a shirt. So, I... But it's like crunch time, and it's like being an athlete. It's like you got to jump into drive and just get it done. Yeah. So like, and we normally like we have a huge success rate with finding people things, and that like to me is like, oh, thank God. Like yeah. I feel good when we do that. Now, it's so different. People don't mm. need to know what to wear, where to wear it, how to wear it, how to style it. They just need. Does do you have a medium? Do you have a small? Mm. I need a pair of sweatpants. You know, like I am, it's a rare occasion. I am going out tonight and I just need a black shirt. Mm. And then we have the girls who follow us on Instagram and like, thank God for Instagram. We have a huge Instagram following. Yes, and I know. I saw yeah. it. I was like, oh my God. I don't know if the guys can um, put it put it up, but I hope you guys are, are watching this right now because you can see some, a little bit about their um, style and pictures of the store um, and the followers. So yeah, continue. we have a lot. So that's how we sell a lot of our high-end items, especially during the pandemic. People were like, People were selling and buying. People were losing their jobs. People were getting an extra $600 a week they weren't used to. And so much happened financially during the pandemic. And people on Insta we were shipping stuff to New Mexico, shipping it to Florida, shipping it to New York, shipping things everywhere. And then we were doing local deliveries. So it's definitely more of like a specialized process now. Mm. Where in the past, it's like people need to know, like, should I wear this shirt? Do you have this dress? Yeah. What do I wear to go to... The North End, what do I wear to go to the Bruins game? And that's another thing. We were huge for the Patriots, huge. We had the cutest sweaters with the 12 on it. We had Sunday shirts. We had the bedazzled hats. We had everything. You were going to the Patriots game, you're coming to Madison Ave. You weren't going to that game without an open from us. <laughs> and my girlfriend, Chantal, she did T-shirts that were awesome. We, on Saturdays for a Sunday game, whether you were going to the game, going to the bar to watch the game, sitting on the couch with your friends to watch the game, you were getting an outfit from us. Mm -hmm. We had that on lock. And now it's just like I sit and look at all that stuff, and I'm like, well, everyone got traded. Everyone left the Patriots, and now it's a pandemic. <laughs> so, 
like so many guys used to come in knowing we had like the outfits too and like they go i'm taking my girlfriend to a bruins game tonight i want to buy her the hat to give the tickets like it was like stuff like that that's just not happening right now so you you think that this is because of people are like still scared of the pandemic and they don't want to to approach i mean there's still like there's still restaurants and things that you can do yeah but now Um, we got a curfew again yeah now but you know like these these past month would you say it's because just like people are scared just like it's just for, so for you to get close to me so for example I, i'm 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 shopping and i'm i don't want to ask you because i don't want you to you mean, um there has been a lot of people who are hesitant there's definitely been a lot of people who everyone has their own views on the way we live life and how we choose to live the life we're living um and there's definitely people who don't want to touch you don't want to talk to you don't want to hug won't remove their mask won't m- will remove their mask like it's everyone has their own ways right now and it's like learning how to deal with people and you know like i always help my customers get into their outfits or buckle the shoes or do this or do that and i'm like do you want me to zip you and they're like yes like then some people like no 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 i got it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. definitely challenging it's yeah and then it's challenging because maybe you just left your house for the first time but i'm around people all day counting money touching this touching that and you think like do i want to be around her yeah and i feel bad about that too you know my best friend who you met today like my sister she you know she gets nervous because it's like we're we're so exposed to people Mm -hmm. and things and yeah maybe people are hesitant to be around us yeah it i mean it, it Makes and she's the reason cause. you can use the dressing room. She's the one that cleans everything. She keeps it organized. She gets Ooh, everything Okay, in shout order. out to Danielle. Danielle. Yeah. Shout out to Danielle. <laughs> because I feel like, honestly, that, that's a plus. She sprays it down. She vacuums it. She dusts everything. There's not a germ in there. That's, honestly, that's, I feel like that's a plus. So anyone who's watching this video, if you're going to stores that don't have the, the fitting room available, hey, you can, you can come here, okay? Because you can dry your clothes and... Honestly, for me, that's a plus because I already mentioned my struggle finding clothes. And I know that there's a lot of women out there who are petite, who, you know, are very specific with their clothes and they can't fit in, you know, just buy it off the hand grin. And yeah, this is going to fit me. So I just suggest you to pass through Madison. Um, Okay, great, great. Um, So moving forward, is there anything particular that you want to mention right now before we we conclude um the interview um anyone who wants to come in we are very welcoming we're happy to have you we're excited when people do come in we're excited when people take the opportunity to shop and we really look forward to like the future as a whole um we're not the only ones who are like in a weird place everyone's in a weird Mm -hmm. place and we try our best to like understand that and yeah be positive for a better future yeah and when we can go out again we can go to weddings again we can go to showers again when we can just live life again we'll have the outfit for you definitely awesome and um if you guys were looking at the social media the social media like i mean for for from my point of view was very focused on like purse and stuff but there's so so many other options and when when i was looking at the social media justin like um justin sent it to me and he's like oh do you like the clothes here or like the items and i was like yeah but there's there's not a lot of um a lot of selection and then Mm -hmm. when i went into the store it's completely different so like what i just want to say is like because what you see in social media it's not necessarily what's in the store so you know give yourself the opportunity to um navigate the store and and actually you will find amazing um items and this is the, the, the tricky part, right? Because in, in social media, it's like, I mean, I mean, Instagram, but that's that was the one that I, that I see. Mm-hmm. It wasn't presented that way. I, I thought that it, you guys sell only like purses and, and sneakers or shoes, right? Um, and then when I when I went there, all these outfits and um, jewelry, hair, um, accessories, um, li- literally anything. You yeah, have we have there. a lot. It's big. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, it was very nice getting to know you and getting to know more about um, Madison Ave, right? Yes. That's the name. And only if for the only, night. Only for the night. I love that name. It's a by the mouthful. Way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only for the night in Madison Ave. So, guys, I just want to exhort you to pass by. Um, and if you like anything, she will help you or any, any other. Um, 
of the employees they can they will be able to assist you if it's finding the right outfit um you have a special occasion whatever you need they will they will help you there Oh, what's the address? Yes, address. 530, so 531 Main Street, Melrose. We are next to Buckaloo's and our Plaza Barbershop, which is red. We don't have a sign. We don't have numbers because I cannot figure out the sign I want to put up yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's about 10, 15 minutes with no traffic and driving fast from Boston. <laughs> So, guys, if you're looking for something different, definitely this is your store. And that will be all for tonight. Thank you, Katie, for being here today. And have a good evening, everyone. Thank you.